Blowing my mind, you said it's time to go our separate ways. Pulling the trigger, I never consider. You're telling me you can no longer stay our separate ways. Forget the days when I was the only one, and you are hot as a pistol, cold as a steel on the barrel of a loaded gun. Hot as a pistol, cold as a steel on the barrel of a loaded gun. Alone in my couch, alone in our house. Wishing you were by my side, by my side, waking up. But lately it's been hard to find a reason to start my day. Like I'm still the only one Cause I know I'll be alone When the morning comes And I could beg you to stay But I know You got your mind made up to leave Leave it all And you're never coming back to me Cause you are Hot as a pistol, cold as the steel on the barrel of a loaded gun. Why did you run away from the days when I was the only one, the only one, the only one, one you had ever loved? You are hot as a pistol, cold as the steel on the barrel of a loaded gun. Project M, your song, the song title we gave you was Hot as a Pistol. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny because I it was totally different than I expected. I loved it. Nice. But I, you know, in the your audition video, you did the little triple M thing. And even when you came out here, you had so much attitude. And then it turned into just this mellow, deep, felt, heartfelt song. And it kind of reminded me of a few different artists. Uh, Nick Drake, who does Pink Moon, where it's like you almost have to get closer to your radio to hear it all, but yeah. you want to. So I had that feeling. And then also, I just like your attitude. There's been a couple of musicians that have come through here, Bob Schneider and Matt Nathanson that come to mind, who when they're not singing are silly and saying obnoxious things and funny. And then when they sing, it's like they're ripping your heart out in a, in a good way. And that's what I felt here. It, the, the title, I expected something completely different and you surprised me and I loved it. Sweet. I also had no idea what to expect. I mean, you came in here and, and I knew there was a little hip hop background. Uh, to what you do, and so I was not expecting this sweet, sweet song, um, this sad breakup song, and the amazing guitar playing. The guitar playing just oh, thank you. drew me in, absolutely drew me in. Uh, a very sweet sounding guitar. Uh, I keep saying sweet over and over again, but it was a, a very, a very sweet song. The only, the only you thing. Say dope. <laughs> dope guitar playing, dude. Um, it just doesn't fit. No, though. he should say sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. um, my initial reaction was it could do with some sort of tempo change somewhere in it, mm -hmm. but then as you got through the song, I thought, no, that 
kind of part of what drew me in was the fact that it was that that same temple all the way through, and and I think it uh, highlighted lyrically what was going on better that way than if you would have changed up and suddenly gone faster. That's what so I thought on. too. That's great. Yeah, I agree. I think um, I think you did you did a really good job. I think that I expected you to have like a more you know kind of like upbeat and you know sexual song you know hot as a pistol but you didn't you it's totally did something thing. like wait yeah because you were joking about oh, it when yeah. you got the when you got the assignment but i think you have a very cool um almost like a neo soul vibe you have this i can tell you listen to a lot of drake you listen to a lot of like new soul singers who are um you know hip-hop influenced and there's a lot of crossing in genres uh but you 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 know you do it yourself which is kind of cool um, obviously great guitar work. Uh, I wrote down, I really liked that you kind of went to the finger pick, like the rhythm, you added some rhythm mm -hmm. towards, uh, towards the end of the song, but then dropped it back to the simple chorus, that's cool. Um, only things that I, you know, I could hear was that the chorus melody could maybe be a little more dynamically moving, like a little bit more catchy. And I know that you're capable of it because in the end of the song, you went really high with the falsetto. Yes. You know, you vaulted up there and that's really pretty. Like the first time I ever saw you play, in Madison, I actually saw you play. You don't know this, but I saw you play at an open mic oh. at the Rathskeller, and um, and you played one of your songs called uh, Cas "Cafe Lady" or something mm -hmm. like that. And you really have a dynamic range, and you used it in that song. I thought it was, I thought it was good. So, um, so definitely be be willing to use your range and to get soulful, because I think that's one of uh, <clears throat> the things that you have that um, sets you apart. Word up. Hi, I liked I like the song too, and I like the the irony of having it be hot as a pistol, but then be more like smoldering instead of mm -hmm. like a smoldering gun instead of one that just fired or something. Uh, and but I thought I I too was feeling like I wanted it to go somewhere else instead of just staying all at the same feel for the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for more range, and I hope in your future songs you demonstrate that because um, I'm hoping you're not just all like that. I don't know, it's just wanting a little bit more of a variety, but... Yeah, it's just kind of a, um, it's been a busy week, so I'm just kind of in that chill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I can appreciate that, but it was enjoyable.